All right, while Mitch is changing the oil, I decided to take a look at the at the winch. And here's the problem. This little, little selector from uh, free spooling to um, uh, clutch engaged for, for the motor, um, I never was able to actually switch it all the way. So I unscrewed this uh, the screws that go all of our, around it. I'm gonna attempt to dislodge it to see what's going on on the inside. Mitch, would you give me a small? Oh, uh, never mind. Once you done lift, lifting, uh, I'll need a little crowbar. See if I'll be able to get this cap off. See what's inside. Oh. Never mind, I think I already have done it. My hunch is probably some water got into it, and that's why it's not engaging or disengaging. Okay, this is what I found taking it apart. That was probably good uh, ounce of water inside that uh, spilled out so all those little rubber gaskets are not really efficient keeping the water out so all this green grease needs to be cleaned out and repacked and we'll see you. all right here's more of the beautiful stuff it's all rusted and um, You have to be cleaned up and re-greased, but um, I suggest anybody with the winch, uh, most of its life, this winch has spent in Colorado and a little bit of in Wyoming, and it's pretty dry out here. Uh, so any, uh, any places out east, this probably should be done on a yearly basis. But yeah, quite a bit of water got in there, and. Uh, well, especially uh, winches, depending, I guess, on the on the usage. But this one probably didn't get used a lot, and that's the result. Until, or you don't wash your hands until you're done. I'm done. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, the rest of the time, I'm a, <clears throat> a cameraman. I don't like that. And and you, the mechanic. So anyway, we cleaned it up. There is a bunch of rust on some of the retaining uh, case for the gears. And uh, Mitch, being a smart boy and watching a lot of YouTube videos, suggested uh, putting it on molasses solution for a week and then just uh, pressure clean it. But Petrodollar still buys cheap Chinese stuff for now, so I say we just put it back together and put a bunch of grease in it and it should be good enough. How's that gooey stuff? Hey, Feels yeah. good? Nope. Well, for the most part we cleaned all the old grease out. Should have put those uh, latex gloves. It's better to work with grease on fingers. <laughs> Feels tried. better? No, I've <laughs> tried working with gloves and grease, it just doesn't work. Here, cut it shorter so I can get to the grease. I can't. Grab a uh, thing, clean it, and then you can cut it. You're cleaning the tools then. Remember, I'm a cameraman for the rest of the time. Right. Since you don't, you don't like to film, you always m making faces when I'm, you asked. Well, you got the pleasure work then. Man's job. Huh? Mm hmm. Well, I'm glad we took it apart now, instead of uh, struggling somewhere in the middle of nowhere, and we need to use the winch, and it would crock on us. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if uh, the parts and the gaskets and all that stuff on the U.S.-made winches are any better. Well, 
I don't know. Nowadays, all the parts are sourced from China anyway. It's hard to tell. Why don't you put this thing in and see if it, uh, the lever, and see if it will engage and disengage it. I'm not going to be able to film. <laughs> put the camera down. <laughs> All right, everything is back in its places and uh, now it's test time. So this is engaged now, right? Okay. I'm not sure about the, the gasket is that they uh, supply it with is pretty crap and it's part of the reason so much water got in there you know and probably mostly from like pressure washing it At least we know with all, all that fresh grease now in there. Water resistant cool. grease. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, at least it should work for a while. And I don't know, maybe next year I'll take it apart. Just take it take it off all together and take it all apart. Because we haven't even checked the motor side. And it might be the same story in there. All rusted. Well, well, for now, if it, have it working. For the, yeah, for this season, it'll uh, run the way it is. 